All right, guys. I know some of you are still a little stuck on what to do for making the DNA, so I'm gonna run through here real quick, try and make it easy. But first, I need helicase. So remember, don't just start taking all your loose nucleotides and start putting them together into a second DNA. The point here is to replicate the DNA the same way that the cell does. And the way the cell does it like this. First, helicase has to come in and unzip the DNA. You're gonna break all these hydrogen bonds. Now luckily, this group has real nice, big, easy hydrogen bonds. I'm just gonna break them, yay. You can break these hydrogen bonds. That makes right here what we call the replication bubble. There it is, all nice and bubbly like. Oh, yeah. Big, nice replication bubble. <clears throat> then you got to use your hands here to represent DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase goes from the three prime end towards the five prime end. So that means on this strand, we're going to go three prime to five prime. So on this one, we're going to be moving up because of the anti-parallel alignment. <clears throat> on this side, we're going to be moving down. So let's start here because that seems pretty nice and easy. Start by sticking in our guanine, goes with cytosine. We'll make first that nice, easy hydrogen bond. There it is. Then we move up. Adenine, we'll get a thymine. We'll make in that nice hydrogen bond. There it is. But before we move up, we've got to take our Elmer's covalent bond. We need to make a covalent bond here. We're going to make the covalent bond right here to make our sugar phosphate backbone. Then we move up. And again, we're in a hydrogen bond, guanine gets a cytosine. Here's one. Seen a little better days, but we'll hydrogen bond it in there anyway. And then again, before we can move up, we've got to make that hydrogen or that covalent bond on the sugar phosphate backbone. You can't just run through, do all the one bond, and then go back and do all it. Because once DNA polymerase is up here, if these bonds haven't been made, it can't go back and make them again. So on this one, we're going to go like that in that order. Again, one more time. You make the hydrogen bond first. Then the covalent bond. Like that. We'll run up three to five. Run down on the other side, three to five. Once that's all done, you should have two strands of DNA. Remember, you should have string tied around each of your original sugar phosphate backbones, so when it's done, you can see where your original strands were and where your new strands are. That's it. Hopefully that helps.